In this video, we're going to talk about what's called the complement. The complement of an event A, so of an event A. So first, let me show you how to write it. So the notation so is denoted. So you can use an A with a bar. Uh, or I prefer A and then a C, A complement. So the complement of an event A, this is how you write it. Uh, and what does it mean? It is the event that A does not occur. So it basically, it's the opposite. So is the event that A does not occur. So it's simply the opposite. So if A is eat a cheeseburger, the complement is do not eat a cheeseburger. So it's literally just the opposite. So there is a formula that you can come up with uh, using just a simple basic fact. Uh, if you have any event, it's either going to happen or it's not going to happen. So the probability of A happening plus the probability of it not happening well, there's a 100% chance of that occurring, so this should be equal to 1. So the probability of something plus the probability of that something not happening is equal to 1. Uh, then you can solve this, right, for either P of A or P of the complement of A, whichever you prefer. So I'll solve for P of A, so you subtract this one from both sides. And you get the probability of A is equal to 1 minus the probability of the complement of A. That's a nice formula we can use to do some simple, simple problems. And likewise, you can replace this with a complement and then this with, with A. Okay, let's do a simple, simple example. So, how about, uh, say someone tells us that the uh, chance of rain, chance of rain, is 0.62%. So 0.62%. That's kind of evil because it's got a decimal and it's a percentage. And we want the probability that it does not rain. So it does not rain. What is the probability that it does not rain? So using our formula, the probability it does not rain is going to be 1 minus the probability of the complement. Well, the complement of does not rain is the opposite of does not rain. So the opposite of does not rain is rain. Okay, so whenever you have anything here, you can just replace it with 1 minus the probability of the opposite. So this is equal to 1 minus. Now here's the tricky part. We know the chance of rain is 0.62%, but that's not the probability, it's a percentage. So what you have to do is you have to take this decimal place and move it over two places to the left. Right, so that will give you 0 0.0062. So that's 0 0.0062. Then you can put that in your calculator, and I'll do that here. So putting this in the calculator, let me turn it on. It's 1 minus 0 0.0062. So 0.9938. Good stuff. Whoops, 0.9938, and that's the probability. If you don't like this uh, moving of decimal places, you can do it another way. You can do it in your calculator. If you have a percentage, like say you had 35%, to turn that into a decimal, all you do is you divide by 100 in the calculator. Watch. Yep, 0.35. So you can do the same thing with 0.62%, right? You can do 0.62 and then divide it by 100, and then boom, there it is. That's how you turn a percentage into a decimal. That's it.